I'm Father Bob Stoke, Rector of the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming to you with another one of our weekly reflections drawn from the Sunday readings of the liturgy. This for the weekend of September 17th, 2023, the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Building on that theme of reconciliation that we began to explore in the readings last weekend, we continue in that vein this weekend. And I'm always reminded when we talk about Jesus's profound instruction to us to forgive, I'm reminded of the words we pray each time we pray the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer. We say, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. It's a fundamental reminder in our lives that because of God's great mercy for us, we're called to be as generous in extending that mercy to others. When we hear parables like the parable this weekend, talking about someone who is forgiven much, then not in turn being willing to forgive someone else, we're reminded of our fundamental call and of how difficult it can be in our own lives, even when we have known forgiveness, to be able to extend that same forgiveness to others. In my family, we have Irish heritage, and I'm fond of saying, you know, the definition of Irish Alzheimer's is you forget everything but the grudges. Sometimes in families, generations can carry a grudge from one to the next till they don't really remember what the original difficulty was. Jesus has something better in mind for us, and that is in forgiving, we also have the capacity to really appreciate the forgiveness that's already ours. And as we contemplate the Paschal mystery of Jesus, his passion, death, and resurrection, each and every time we gather at the table of the Lord, we also call on ourselves to remember what it is as we have been forgiven to try to learn what it means to forgive others. So I invite you this weekend with us to look at your heart. Where are the places and the people in your life that forgiveness has not yet been a part of a relationship? And what's one concrete thing you might be able to do this week to be able to move from unforgiveness to forgiveness? It's the work of discipleship, which is also the work of a lifetime. Wherever you are as you listen to this reflection, we hope you and your family are well. We want you to know that here at the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas, we keep you and them in our prayers. We hope that someday soon you might join us live here for worship at the Guardian Angel Cathedral.